In the shadow of the greatest sports arena in history, and beneath the floor of the Ludus Magnus, the ultimate gladiator boot camp, we were given extremely rare access to the remains of a neighborhood buried beneath the gladiator school. By gaining access into the sewers of that neighborhood, we may find the entrance to the long lost tunnel of the gladiators. This is ancient history, this tunnel. And it's filled with water and muck. Yikes. All right, that's gross. Yep. And the water is going in my feet. So this was built between 200 BC and about 50 BC. While this tunnel is still able to hold up the street above, a collapse blocked us from going farther. And though it was too dangerous to dig out, our SWAT kit, <laughs> we were able to peek into this little known part of Rome and possibly get a glimpse at the lost tunnel between here and the Colosseum. So look at this thing. So all these little lights are infrared lights. So this can see in total darkness. They actually use these things for, for SWAT teams. <sighs> See what I'm going for? Yeah, there we go, focus. That is freaking cool. That's a whole nother path. Directly beneath the road above and facing the direction of the Colosseum was an entrance to another tunnel. But the collapsed debris stopped us from going any deeper. This makes me crazy, because frustrating as this is, the fact of the matter is I think any archeologist would tell me that I'd be stupid if I went through here and fouled this up. And I mean, we talk about the ancient world, how well built it was, how it never collapses. Well, it actually does collapse. You know, if we could dig out this way, we might find that tunnel that was used by the gladiators to move just in that direction, right across the street to the Colosseum, one of the most famous sites in the world. But I can't get back there.